Hello, I'm Mary Grayful with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's closing bell is sponsored by Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. While there has been a lot of volatility in the corn market throughout the year, due to outside news and supply concerns, it had fallen into more of a trading range from late August into November, with the March contract mostly staying between $6.70 and $7 in that time. The last few weeks saw a pretty large downward move, losing 40 cents on the March contract within two weeks. This break put March below the, both the 20 and 40 day moving average and tested the 100 day moving average before moving higher again this week. Still, that break did put corn below some pretty strong levels of support that had been established at 670, with the next level of support being at the 100 day moving average in the mid 650s. If corn were to fall below that, the next target would be at the gap in the chart, which is at 638. From a fundamental perspective, Corn at this value, or corn at this level would be undervalued. With what we know of supply and demand, we are expecting a stocks to use ratio of corn to be somewhere between eight and eight and a half percent, with our current forecast at 8.3 percent. This stocks to use ratio would indicate that corn has been in a fundamentally appropriate price range, as an eight to eight and a half percent stocks to use ratio suggests quarter one prices should be about $6.60 to $7 if it follows the historical trend line. So if corn were to break lower, it would be trading below what the fundamentals suggest unless there was an adjustment in stocks to use expectation. This change would come if more corn was available than current forecast due to either increased average yield or decreased demand, which would allow corn to move lower. If stocks to use doesn't change, corn should remain ranged round for the spring contract. Turning to this week's markets, fed cattle cash trade was light to moderate in volume as we head into a holiday shortened week next week. Even with relatively light cash trade, cattle were able to trade steady to mostly $1 higher compared to last week. The trend for fed cattle should still be steady to higher over the next few weeks as packers will need to be aggressive to fill final orders ahead of the holidays. Beef moved lower this week with large production holding down the market to some degree. Next week's lighter production and strong demand should give the cutout some strength to hold steady or move higher, at least in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.